film on Don Chase. Um, as far as advice goes, uh, I can tell you what I've learned. I've learned over the years to question, um, especially when it involves group of people, especially people who have good intentions. Um, to constantly question, especially people who are extremely into whatever it is that they're into. Um, it's easy to get caught up with things, um, especially in a group of people. Uh, actually, your brain chemistry changes when you get into a group of people. It's kind of interesting. Uh, so you have to be very, very careful. Um, I experienced that myself twice in my life. Uh, growing up, I was involved in a very religious Christian community. Uh, it didn't encourage me to think for themselves. Actually, it kind of discouraged me. Uh, so I didn't learn to do that growing up. Um, and then when I moved out, after high school, I had to kind of learn how to do that a bit. And uh, when I moved to New York City, two years after that, I got caught up in another group. And, um, well, thank you. And, uh, this is from you, by the way. <laughs> and uh, I got caught up in another group. Again, seemingly very well-intentioned. Um, started out with, uh, again, religion. Uh, they all seemed like wonderful people and gave you big hugs and thought you were spectacular, told you you were spectacular. Um, but it turns out that it started one way and it slowly progressed into, you know, they didn't really want you to think for yourself. Um, and it turned out by the end of the situation, I looked around and it was completely different from what I thought I was getting myself into. Um, and so the lesson I learned from that is to always question, completely, never accept anything for what people say it is. It looks good on the outside, um, especially when a lot of people are doing it. Question, always ask, uh, stop yourself and say, is this really what I want to do? Is this really what I believe? Is this really what I think? Whether it's religion or anything, any kind of a group. It can be a group of people who like purple socks. It doesn't really matter. Um, just question. So that would be my advice to you. Um, from what I learned in my life is to constantly question and uh, just never accept crowd. That's it. Wish you the best of luck. Hi, Olive and Lucy. This is Jasmine. I wanted to talk to you about trust and how important it is to have a close. Um, a small close group of people that you can trust be besides your parents but also you should you should have at least one or two friends that you can really feel comfortable with and able to talk to them and able to trust them trust is a very important factor um, in establishing any type of relationship and it's important that you always follow your gut um, I think my gut and my heart always lead me the right way and sometimes it is difficult to follow that but I believe if you listen to your own self you can you'll find out you can you'll find out who your true friends are and always know that if you don't if you can't talk to someone your parents even if you may think it's difficult to talk to they're always there to listen and those are the two people that you you'll be able to trust 100% it took me now as an adult to understand that but now I have a very close relationship with both my parents and I'm able to trust them even if they don't necessarily agree with me but I'm able to trust them and know that their advice is sound and that they will never steer me in the wrong direction.